guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today, I'm in Stonewall, Louisiana at Orr Ford, and next to me is the 2020 Ford Raptor. I'm going to tell you all about what has changed between 2019 and 2020 with the Raptor, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Today's video is sponsored by Gall Star TV, the premier bracket racing channel here on YouTube. You can check them out via the link in the description. Make sure to go over there and subscribe. The channel is all about the drag racing adventures of my friend Tom Gall and his family. It's not just stuff going on on the racetrack, but it's a lot of behind the scenes footage, a lot of tips and tutorials about how to be a successful bracket racer and just seeing what Tom and his family do between rounds at the racetrack. It's very entertaining and the editing is top notch. So make sure you subscribe to Gall Star TV and even pick up some t-shirts just like this and other great designs while you're there. Now before we get too far into our tour of the 2020 Raptor, I want to tell you about one of my absolute favorite features of this truck and many of the Ford products that you can buy today. It's the front camera washer. And what that is, is basically if you bring up your camera on the infotainment screen and it's dirty, you don't have to jump out and clean it off yourself or spray it off or anything like that. All you have to do is reach over and push the button on the turn signal stalk that you would normally use to activate the windshield washer fluid. It's going to spray a stream of water right across the lens on the front camera, cleaning it off. Very convenient and honestly, I think very cool. The 2020 Ford Raptor has a lane filling stance and the widened Ford F-150 body gives it the look of aggression that it truly deserves and tells you a little bit about what it's capable of. The all-terrain tires paired with the long travel suspension mean this truck can literally go just about anywhere you wish to take it. But here's the good news. When you're out on the highway cruising around or just around town, the ride is surprisingly smooth. Here under the hood of the 2020 Raptor, you'll find the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 that motivates this truck to get down the road very quickly when you wish for it to do so. It makes 450 horsepower and is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. What does all of that ultimately mean? It means that this rather large truck can do zero to 60 in as little as 5.1 seconds. Very, very impressive. While this truck is larger than the other F-150s in the Ford family, one thing that you can take advantage of is the durability and ruggedness of this truck. If you get stuck in a position where you can safely drive over a curb or something else that might be in your way, doing so is not going to be a problem. Not that I'm encouraging any kind of property damage. So as I sit here on the automatic tailgate that you can open a number of different ways with the remote, there's a button here on the tailgate and there's also a button in the interior of the cab itself. You also have a step here with a handle to help getting in and out of the bed of the truck that has a payload of up to 1,200 pounds and towing capabilities of up to 8,000 pounds. So that means not only is the 2020 Raptor a lot of fun, it's also very practical. So what exactly is new with the 2020 Ford Raptor? Well, one thing that's new is there are three new paint colors. Those colors include Iconic Silver, Leadfoot, which is the color of this particular model, and Rapid Red. Okay guys, we're gonna go on a quick test drive here with the Raptor. And I'll tell you what, it does take a little bit of getting used to the lane filling stance that I referred to earlier with the Raptor. But I think after you drive it for a short time, it's gonna just seem normal. It'll feel like any stock F-150 you may be used to driving or whatever you're used to driving. The steering wheel is very comfortable. The ride itself is very comfortable. Everything's easy to get to. Of course, you have the infotainment screen and infotainment system here that has everything you would expect here on the Raptor. Of course, you have multiple camera angles, the backup camera, all the common safety features you would expect from Ford. A panoramic sunroof with a shade to close that off if you want to so you don't have the all that sun and light coming in on a warm day like this. Today it's in November. What is today? I think November 6th. 
And here in Shreveport, Louisiana, the high is 76 degrees. Nice day, but a little bit warm for November. It's gonna change shortly. You're gonna see me wearing some long sleeve shirts and hoodies and stuff like that in some upcoming videos because it's finally gonna turn into winter around here. So what are my overall driving impressions of the Raptor? Well, it's a lot of fun to drive. It has good, smooth acceleration. It's not hard to see out of, of course. The steering is nice and responsive, as well as the gas pedal. And ultimately, it's just a really great truck to drive. I really enjoy driving the Raptor here. So we're gonna get out here on the road and give it a little bit of acceleration and not doing it from a dead stop, but still, hopefully you can hear this. Good exhaust note. I like the way that sounds. Would it be nice to have a V8 in the Raptor? Well, yeah, obviously it would. Is that going to happen? Well, there's sources that proclaim that to be true. We'll just have to give it some time and find out. But in the meantime, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 is not hurting for horsepower. And that brings to a close my time with the amazing 2020 Ford Raptor. If it's something you're interested in, I would definitely highly recommend picking one of these up. Very amazing truck, very capable, a lot of fun and practical. I'd like to thank Orr Ford for loaning me this 2020 Raptor for the day and like to thank Golf Star TV for sponsoring today's video. And of course, all of you who are kind enough to take the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to tap that subscribe button, share this video on your social media timelines, and I will see you next time on Vehicle Visionary.